Hi guys and welcome. Today we're going to be starting off a new let's play of a new game which I've been looking forward to for quite a little while. It's a simulation trading type of game, very similar to Port Royale. Created by the same guys, Calypso Media, who also made Tropico and Omerta City of Gangsters, which were both very, very fun games. Only PC based games and they are incredibly good. They definitely suck you right into the game. This game is, apart from um, being in the Caribbean because it's not in the Caribbean anymore. It is of course in Venice and the greater Mediterranean region. With that being said, let's go start the game. It's almost exactly the same as Port Ariel 3 though. You'll see what I mean as soon as we get cracking. Let's go with... I'm rather happy with that. Family Crest. Let's see. Nothing really screams power like a couple of swords and a shield. So we'll go with that. Chapter it is one, the year young 1455, Leopard. Venice. They call it the golden city of commerce, of beauty, of culture and carnivals, but also the city of greed and intrigue, a cauldron in which only the strongest and brightest can attain true prosperity. These are troubled times. The wars between Venice and the other Italian city-states, especially Genoa, ended just a few short months ago. The victorious Venetians forced a costly peace treaty upon their enemies. But there is no doubt that Genoa will remain an eternal rival in the Mediterranean. The enemy city-state will use every means at their disposal to gain an advantage over Venice. And as if that were not enough, danger also threatens from within the city walls. The intrigues of the nobility and the rich and powerful threaten to destroy the city from within. In the east, the mighty Ottoman Empire stretches its fingers out towards the last vestiges of the Roman Empire. Venice's major trading partner, Constantinople, fears the approach of war. Moreover, the pirates of the Mediterranean have lately grown from a small annoyance into a huge problem. Rumors abound that there could be a connection between the Ottomans and the pirates, but no one knows anything for sure. On this day, however, neither the far-off war nor the intrigues in Venice interest the hero of our story. Young Iacimo di Narni sits beside his grandfather's deathbed. Erasmo, the famous mercenary leader whose cunning battle plans earned him the nickname The Leopard, is about to begin his final journey and has therefore sent for his grandson. In a low voice, the old man talks about his life and his dream. As a young soldier, he accompanied merchant ships and visited distant cities. There were silk and spices in abundance, and with a little luck and skill at trading, these goods could be sold for a huge profit in Venice. Over the years, Erasmo saw the fame and wealth the merchant profession had to offer. A skillful businessman soon reached a pleasant level of prosperity, followed by wealth and the corresponding reputation. Erasmo remembered towns that were founded by merchants and grew to become magnificent cities. He had always wanted to leave the tough mercenary life behind and become a successful businessman of standing and dignity instead. His last wish, his grandson Yakimo, should abandon his planned mercenary career to follow the path of a trader and so bring his family the social advancement Erasmo had always wanted to give them. Yakimo, who loves his grandfather more than anything in the world, immediately agrees, even if he, at that moment, certainly has no idea of the adventures that await him on his journey. Yet his grandfather urges caution. Some families are corrupt, thinking only of their own advantage. The worst among them are like insidious snakes, whose intrigues spread hatred and fear throughout Venice to help them advance their own goals in their greed for power and influence, they do not shy from sabotage and even murder. As Erasmo closes his eyes for the last time, Giacomo sadly takes his farewell. Yet his grandfather's last wish has burned itself into his soul. He wants to become a wealthy merchant, like those his grandfather had told him about. Wealth, social advancement, a noble title, a magnificent palace, marriage into a prestigious family, and maybe even a seat on the Council of Ten, ends certainly worth taking a risk for. Wow, that was definitely a lengthy cutscene, but that was 
pretty much the same type of cutscene that we had in Port Royale. Port Royale was an amazing series Your of games, really. His last wish was that you become a trader. So to lead our family to prestige and wealth, I will support you as best I can. First and foremost, you should familiarize yourself with the basic principles. I should indeed. So, current situation, you are from the old mercenary family, Zanani. We have long lived in Venice, but as members of the common family. Your grandfather's dying wish was for you to become an overseas trader in an effort to bring your family fame and fortune. Your father, Salvatore, will support you in your endeavor. So the next goal is to familiarize yourself with the basic controls and sail yourself or your convoy to Zara. Okay, so we can zoom all the way out, have a closer look at the Mediterranean. We can go all the way to Tunis. Doesn't seem like we can go any further left. Uh, and we have to unlock some extra ports. Like we don't even know what this port is, but we know it exists. So we just have to go around and explore. I'm not sure if it works the same as Port Real. Maybe there's some hidden ones. It's like we can already see this port, etc. We just don't know the name of it. So we're starting off in Venice. We can speed up time. We can zoom right in. This is what I really like. Because I'm pretty sure that you could not zoom in in Port Real just like this and have a closer look at the city. Uh, but we have our own ship, which is this blue one. It's a gamma. Let's head over to the city of Zara. Game runs incredibly smoothly. It also looks very nice. It's got the typical Tropico fields. Nothing triple A graphic ratings, but it's pretty smooth and it's really nice just to look at. It's very colorful, eye candy type of stuff. Let's just wait in. Wait until the bell rings. Good. There we go. Now you know how to send convoys out. Now it's time for your first trade. The city of Zara is known for its pottery workshops, so you can hope for some good deals at the market there. Buy the goods and take them to Venice. Since no pottery is produced in your hometown, you are certain to be able to sell them at a profit. Sounds good. So enter the market in Zara and buy 40 pottery. Keep in mind that you have to have your convoy in Zara selected so it can load the goods. Then bring the goods to Venice and sell them at the market there. Since Venice does not produce pottery, there shouldn't be much stock available on the market. You can also have a closer look immediately. Go to the market, see how much pottery costs. Pottery is the thing that we need, the 40 of it. So red, all red means that they don't have much of it. They've got 187, which is still a fair bit. And I think it sells for 132 gold, is what that means. So. Obviously, the more you sell, the less they'll want for it. There's demand and supply and all that good stuff. So let's head over to the marketplace. And we need 40 pottery. So let's just switch this over to 40. It's going to cost us 2,852 gold. That takes away from over here the amount that we have. We also level up very similarly to the way that we level up in Port Royal. I think they're even trying to play this off as a new IP, which is a bit disingenuous, really. It's just uh, pretty much a new version of the Port Royal series. It's pretty much exactly the same. There's, of course, some changes, but that's what you'd expect in an upgraded up game. So, here we are in the ports. We go back to the marketplace, and then we deliver back the 40 pottery. Reputation increasing well Venice. I think you made quite a tidy little profit on that sale. You may have noticed that you cannot trade in all goods. The reason is that your rank is currently too low. Each time you rise in rank, new trading rights are added. But more on that later. Right well, now, I, look forward to that. I have a new ship for you to add to your convoy. Okay. A new frigate awaits you in Venice Harbor. Add this, to this ship to your convoy to expand it. To add a ship to a convoy, both ship and convoy have to be in the same harbor while the convoy is selected. Then go to visit the harbor mass in the city's lighthouse. It's pretty much the same. So we've got this selected, the Dagama, and we click on the harbor master. The frigates move it to the Dagama. You can enlarge a convoy and now they're together. as much as you want by adding more ships. But now I have another mission for you. I have just learned that food is scarce in Ragusa. 
you should use this opportunity to make some real profit from trading. And in doing so, you will also be helping the people there and increasing their prosperity. Alrighty, so we're going to purchase a total of 100 grain and fruits in Athens and Durazzo. You can choose where to buy it, but make sure you buy cheap. Then sell these goods in Ragusa. You should only sell if the price is far above your buying price. Under certain conditions, it may be wiser if you do not sell all the goods at once. All right. I'm pretty sure that it will be okay to sell all the goods at once, but we have to head over to Durazzo, which is over here. Quite a bit of a sale. Make sure you go ahead and like this video if you want to see more. I'll probably be uploading a lot more. I want to go ahead and uh, just pump out a couple of videos, about three or four today, and then Grand Theft Auto 5 is also coming to end, end soonish. So hopefully you guys are going to be enjoying this little Let's Play. Of course, we haven't been playing all that many other games. Not all that many games that I really enjoy, like PC simulation type, like what this is. It's not really simulation, but I love the trading and you get to build up your cities and you do get to choose like hospitals to increase and farms, I think. Pretty cool. All right, so where are we? We're in Durazzo and they have fruits. Uh, this cogwheel means that they produce said units of whatever so they obviously produce fruits and adobe bricks it's very very similar just with the types of things that they produce as well almost exactly the same i remember hemp being there metal goods metal it's pretty much exactly the same as the other games but what we want is 50 of this so we want to keep it at 60. okay i'll buy 70. And I'll sell it somewhere else. Then we need to go to Athens, which is somewhere over here. We've got our ship selected. Pretty sure Athens is over here, if my geography knowledge is correct. After all, I do live in Oceania, which is Southeast Asia, pretty much. Which is on completely the other side of the world. So you'll have to excuse me if I do not understand European geography or Mediterranean geography, as well as some of you other viewers but I think we'll be okay we'll manage it just fine so firstly we're gonna be let's just speed time up maybe just a little bit you can only speed it up to five times but there we go discovered a new city Ronnie and that's Athens beautiful they got farms over here very cool very similar to uh, like a low textured version of Rome Total War on the campaign map all right, so over here in Athens, we need to buy a license uh, because we have different factions and everything, different cities and different city-states and different rivalries. So you have to either bribe some people or you have to buy licenses. Here we just have to buy a license, not bribe anyone. So you have to acquire a license to trade in this city. Welcome trader Giacomo Danani. As you're a citizen of Venice, I can grant you access to our city for a small fee. Unfortunately, your reputation in Venice is not the best, so I cannot give you a discount. That costs a fair bit, so we need to get some grain. Pretty sure, yeah, grain. So we'll see when it stops going at 39, okay. Your efforts to familiarize yourself with the life of a trader have not gone unnoticed. Unfortunately, not just for the good. It seems some families on the Council of Venice mock us. Still, we can be happy that not everyone on the Council thinks that way. Indeed. All right, so we're going to sell this at Ragusa. Hopefully we'll be making money. I did buy a lot uh, until like the price went up and then we stopped buying. We can carry a lot more cargo if we so choose. Uh, the audio also is glitching up a little bit. I think that's just the uh, problem with the game. I'm pretty sure Port Royal also had the same problem. Running off a very similar game engine. That's for sure. It's still got that colorful contrast of colors. All right, beautiful. Now we need to sell all of this. So I think we sold this at 39. So we're going to be making a lot of money here with the grain and then this at a hundred wow 
There we go. That is how you make money, folks. Well then, Supply Ragusa has certainly improved your standing with the Council of Venice. Good thing, because to rise in rank, it's not enough just to meet all the requirements. You have also to appear before the Council, for only its members can award you a higher rank. And that benefits our entire family. You should now take the opportunity to move up in rank. Okay. The audio definitely is quite annoying, but advance to the rank of wholesaler. You now have enough storage, but your wealth also pays a role. Uh, once you meet all the requirements, you should proceed to the Council of Venice to call for a vote on your advancement. And let's just read the hints just in case, because now they throw us over into the deep end. You can see your rank at the top right. A councilman will only vote for you if your reputation with his family is high enough. You may need to complete missions for some families in order to increase your reputation with them. So I need seven, seven and a half thousand more gold. So what we can do is get a bit more adobe bricks. Twelve, it's not all that much, but that'll do. Head over maybe to Zara. And we need to try to make some money. Also, I'll probably go back to Venice. And uh, we'll have a closer look at the rest of the city. You'd think that Venice being the major city of the game, it would be much bigger <laughs> than it currently is. But then again, yeah, it would take too much of the map, wouldn't it? As we head over into the bay, over here. And dock. Oh, beautiful. Have a closer look at the marketplace. And sorry, we want to deliver the goods. I think we even... No, we would have made money there. Uh, what I'd like to do is maybe even get some pottery. So keep it at 79. There we go. 180 of that. That's quite a bit. Head over to Venice. So now, okay, we still need seven and a half thousand dollars or seven and a half thousand gold. Wait until our wealth increases. 84% of the way there. So. Cargo capacity and the workers and sailors that we have, we don't need any more. Let's go to this market. Hopefully, they need pottery. Yep, they definitely do. So that's a relief. Let's keep it at 132, and then we'll sell it off somewhere else. Okay, that's good enough. Still got a lot more of it. 145. Uh, in the meantime. There we go. Need to increase our wealth just a little bit more. Keep on doing all these trades, etc. Let's have a look at the city hall. So we've got a cathedral, a warehouse. A warehouse is a trader's office and warehouse. It must always be erected before any other buildings can be built. I wonder if you can establish cities as well. Or if, nah, I guess you wouldn't be able to. I definitely don't want to build anything. We'll get into all of that later as the game teaches us. There's also houses with these people. I think one of these houses is our own one. Now well, let's find it. There we go. This is our house, I think. So this is us, Guacamo. And we supposedly get married with a lady, of course. That's our mother, Julia. Salvatore is, after all, our father. We've got a sister, Katerina. Andrea. Definitely seedy looking moustache and Franco the brother. Then Patricia and Eleonora is our aunt. As well as Marco. Alright. So let's start exploring, shall we? We'll head over to Palermo. Hopefully we'll be able to trade with them. No, we have to bribe. That's no good. Over to Durazo. Goods lists. Oh, okay, they need a lot of pottery. They're actually going to be paying quite well for it. So, of course, we're going to make good use of that. Pretty sure this is what they need. Yeah. Yeah, wood short. Okay. So, they're short on grain. That gives us a good little tip. Uh, hopefully, you produce some wheat. No. Ragusa 
Great sweet though, doesn't it? No, that's Athens. Athens. Yeah. All right. So we're going to memorize what everything produces sooner rather than later, of course, as well. After a couple of episodes, we should have it all down pat. Let's head over here. All right, we're docked. Nice. I only need 3,000 more wealth. So we're doing this just fine. I'll also probably... No, I actually won't get anything. I'll go to Athens, though. And then I'll go ahead and get some extra goodies. Mainly wheat. Definitely wheat. And then we'll sell it along Ragusa, Zara, and Venice. Hopefully I'll still demand it. As we sail in. Slow down time to normal speed. Okay, that's good, good enough. And, and let's also sell some more pottery. There we go, all of it. We should population or reputation increase in Athens. Okay, 2% off. Head over to Zara. Seems like they are short on wheat and we have 108 wheat. So hopefully no one delivers the wheat and we'll be able to make a tidy sum of money. Okay, that guy's going to Venice. We should be good. No, the traders beat us to it. Assuming this means that we can build something here. I'll start thinking about that later on though once we figure out how to do all of that stuff. Let's just keep it to what the game's telling us to do though. Right, beautiful. That's enough. Reputation increased in Zara. Oh. I think I went backwards. <laughs> That's not good. Um, also, might as well get some more pottery. Alright. Definitely need lots of wood. I'm not quite sure where we'd find wood though. About we go look at Tunis Snow. We need to buy licenses to trade with all these places. Who produces wood? It's not Zara, is it? No, it is, it is, it is. Sorry, we're already here. Let's come back to the bay. And quickly get some wood as well. So that's going to help us out a lot. Keep it at 40. There we go. Come to Venice. And what does this symbol mean? I'm not quite sure. I'm sure we'll figure it out. Different coloured ships are coming in. I'm not sure what the different colours mean either. Alright, so. There we go. Make a good bit of money there. And... Okay. So we level up to Trader now. All the requirements for the next rank are met. Head to the... Council of Venice. The Council of Venice, where is that found? In the City Hall? Nope. Senate. Alright, advancements. They all seem to like us. Your reputation. We've got a mission available from Cristoforo Moro. But I think I'll just take the advancement. To attain the rank of wholesaler, you have to meet certain... Okay. So, have I done it? I think I have. Landslide victory, it seems like. Seems like they're overvoting, yes. Thumbs up. Okay. <laughs> we have won. Clearly. Clear majority. This is a unanimous decision, even. As of today, you are now a wholesaler and therefore allowed to have two convoys. As a gift of your advancement, a few of the richest families have given, have given had 200 pottery. <laughs> what? Definitely a bit of a bug. Uh, 200 pottery delivered to your home warehouse. You Where is our home warehouse then? When your grandfather demanded you lead the life of a trader to allow our family to advance socially, 
I never thought that you would be so successful so quickly. And now, I have a new task for you. The Morosinis, family friends, need your help with some transport. Let's help them out then. You now have learned the concept of social advancement. Every advancement will increase your entire family status and open new possibilities for you as a trader. Next goal, family friends, the Morosinis need you to transport something for them. Meet the Morosini contact person in the Venice City Hall. He'll give you a cargo to deliver to Rome. Venice City Hall. Right, so where do we need to go? Venice City Hall. Morosini contacts. Can you help us out? Uh, mission. Something? I'm assuming this is the guy. I was told that I could find you here. When, you've, when you're ready, I will have several packages delivered to your convoy. You should deliver them to Rome as quickly as possible. Will do. Let's go ahead, right on top of that. Morosini's cargo is now on board of Convoy de Gamma. Rome is already waiting for the cargo. The cargo will be collected as soon as the convoy enters the harbor there. All right, so where's Rome? Over here. Do you know the ones that hate us after all in that little cutscene that they well, wasn't really a little cutscene now was it quite a large it wasn't the most action oriented cutscene either we've also got the ability to get another convoy i don't, don't think i've got the money for that though also losing a bit of money on crew maintenance i guess which is cool what's with this green stuff I'm assuming that's like the Black nice. Plague, like Stronghold. The Morosini has arranged a trading license for Rome for you. You can now buy and sell goods at will there. Usually, you have to buy those licenses from the city's market overseer, and they are expensive. Now, go out and get two more trading licenses from whichever cities you wish. Okay, you will need an... Need to anchor in a city from which you want to buy a license and open the marketplace. Alright, well. Might as well. Let's see. I think Tunis would be interesting. So I'll go over there. Hopefully, I'll be able just to buy a straight out license. Alright, buy a license. That's pretty cheap, actually. Greetings, wholesaler Guacamo Danani. You're welcome to conduct your business here in our city for the appropriate fee. Unfortunately, your reputation in Venice is not the best. There is a scruffy pirate off the city of Durazzo who's interfering with trade. Maybe you can drive him off. That would gain you a better reputation in the Council of Ten at any rate. Right, I'll get some cheap pottery as well. Because the profit margins with pottery are rather large. And... Everyone needs wood. God damn it. Alright, so Durazo is... The, oh, here we go. We found Syracuse. It's probably something around here as well. No, nothing. Okay. Um, so, here's the ship. So, what do we do? How do we fight him? If you defeat this pirate, you'll gain an increase in your reputation with the council. I don't have any strength, though. Go. Actually, you do have a bit of strength here, so. Okay, we okay. So we have to select the ships that we've got. That so seems like that's it. There we go. We don't have as much strength, and we don't have anywhere near enough sailors. So I don't think it's the best to attack him yet. Yeah. Okay. We can run away from him, so that's at least good. That's a bit of a relief. Alright, let's have a closer look over here. Sell that for a good amount of money and sell all the wheat. I'll keep that. Let's head over to Zara. I'll buy some wood. Everyone needs wood so we can Make some really good money out of wood then. Keep it at 39. You also produce pottery though. Right. Uh, 
There we go. Almost doubled our money off that trade, which is good. We need 70,000 extra wealth. What else am I carrying? Cargo, pottery. Okay. Maybe let's go to Syracuse. That seems like it's along the way, so it'll make sense. As a citizen of Venice, you cannot acquire a trading license in this city by legal means. Let's go to Palermo then and hope for the best. I don't want my like bribe to be revoked or anything. I oh, know we have to bribe them as well. I wonder if there's anything on this island here. Don't seem to be any ships coming along here, so I'll go to Pisa then. What? All right, we'll bribe them. Are they allied with Genoa? That's they say that's the problem. Well, of course we can go exploring a little bit. Go around the African north coast. See what lies there. And this is like Jerusalem. Over here, the Israeli bit. Oh, wow, we've even got the pyramids. Oh, Tripoli. Okay, we should be good here. Buy a license. Yeah, it's okay. That's a decent price. All right. So everybody needs a lot of wood. We should buy a lot more of it. Your new trading licenses should make it easier for you to buy goods at better prices. And at the same time, you have opened up more markets for your own goods. Do you still remember Uncle Marco? He was your grandfather's favorite captain, and he would like to join you. Just form a new convoy in Venice, and he will offer you his services as captain. Sounds pretty good. So your new trading licenses should make it easier for you to buy goods at better prices. And at the same time, you have opened up where you know that. Your Uncle Marco is an experienced captain and would be happy to join you. Simply form a new convoy in Venice and he will offer his services as captain. First, you will need a free ship in Venice. You can either remove an existing ship from one of your convoys or buy a new one from the Venice shipyard. Okay, I thought it was giving, being given to us for free, but clearly not. Let's go head over to Venice, but that'll have to wait until another episode. Let's see what this is. Okay, this is a chronicle. During the years 1455, politics, personal battles, rivalries, and statistics. I guess this shows how the cities are growing and all that. Until next time, guys, hopefully you are going to like this. And uh, if you do, make sure you like it. Support the series if you want to see more. I'll definitely be uh, pumping out a couple more episodes, probably today and in the weekend. But until next time, Thanks for watching and 